Hello and welcome to Live Wire Markets. My name is Chris Conway. On today's episode of The Pitch, we are discussing everything you need to know about AI development. And to do that, I am joined by Billy Leung, who is the investment strategist at Global X. Billy, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Billy, we're here to talk about AI today. It's obviously a huge area of interest for investors. I think sometimes people get caught up in the, the AI moniker and don't really understand the nuts and bolts of it or what sits underneath that. What are some of the key technological advancements and real world applications in the AI space? You're correct in saying artificial intelligence, AI has been a household topic everywhere. And I think, you know, it really gets, you know, misrepresented sometimes in terms of where it goes. So if you look at the techniques that goes into AI, there's only a few that's really, really making strong advancements. Mm -hmm. So for example, there's machine learning, that's making a lot of big strides. So we see that being used in, for example, in the consumption of the retail space. Mm -hmm. Companies such as Amazon are using machine learning to for better, better, better data analytics or even just better target it as well. Um, If you look at the second part of this artificial intelligence, we also have natural language processing, which we've seen in generative AI, we've seen in ChatGPT as well. But there's also a part where I think a lot of people are not seeing where it's actually making a lot of difference in our society, which is the robotics and computer vision. There's a lot of AI that's been applied in these two areas, and it's actually impacting a healthcare supply chain and a lot of logistics. And that's where a lot of value is coming from as well. Billy, you and I have both been in markets for quite some time, both been research analysts as we were talking about uh, off camera. Why has AI come on so fast compared to some of the other themes that you and I have seen yes. over the journey? Yeah, yeah that, that's a good question. A lot of people ask me as well, what's been happening in the past 20 years? What's happening in the past 10 years? And you're right, AI is nothing new. It's been around for a long time, maybe even 20 years or even longer in terms of where research is coming from. But in the last 10 years, what we have seen is that there's A, more and more applications of artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. And number two, this is really interesting, is we've actually seen artificial intelligence reach human performance much faster. Yeah. So for example, in terms of speech recognition, that came in about 20 years ago, and that took about 10 years for actually to reach human level. But in terms of, for example, coding, that's actually taken two years for AI to reach human level. So to answer your question, what's really happened in the last decade is three things. So the first thing is technical technical advancements. So we've seen chip computing power go up about 10 times in terms of computing power. Mm -hmm. And number two is the chips cost has actually come down by about 16 times. So right now, chips are more powerful and more affordable. The second market factor is actually the companies that are actually pushing this innovation. So if you look at these tech companies, they used to be very very weak financially. Mm -hmm. So about 20 years ago, I'm sure you'll know, all these NASDAQ companies, only half of them are profitable. But if you fast forward to the end of last year, over 80% of these companies are profitable, net cash, and also positive fee cash flow, which means that the research and development is much more sustainable. And I think the third thing that's really happening in the past 10 years to push AI is the receptance of all these different industries. So unlike maybe PC or even the internet era where there was some friction between different industries, we're seeing very limited friction between uh, various industries and they're all very willing to apply AI, for example, in healthcare, financials, and retail as well. Billy, you talked there about some of the companies and the financial health that they now exhibit. More broadly, AI as a theme has added about three trillion in value to the S&P 500 over the last 12 months. So it's been an incredible boom. Is this real value, do you think, or is it dot-com bust 2.0? <laughs> yeah, so I think there's two parts, right? There's always two parts to looking at value creation or market growth, right? One of them is, is this market growth driven by earnings? Is it an earn expansion? Or number two, is it a valuation expansion, which is more of the concern, right? If yep. valuation expands too quickly, that becomes a bubble potentially. So what we're seeing, for example, using your, your, view, your observation is um, you know, the NASDAQ has gone up by about 35% in the past 12 months, mm-hmm. added about six to $7 trillion. But if you look at the valuation expansion, it's only been gone up by about 36 times to 39 times PE. Mm-hmm. So the valuation expansion has only been 8% whereas most of it has actually come from earnings. Right. So the companies are actually delivering the earnings growth and delivering what they're supposed to actually uh, provide to investors. Billy, the industry has responded to the opportunity uh, emphatically, shall we say. What does this mean for investors? Yeah, so I think initially when there's a technological shift or when there's an innovation disruption, so to speak, a lot of the, the investors go to, or I try to identify the market leaders. That is where the leaders, where are, again, cash rich, have the ability to actually develop these technology actually are at the forefront. So these are where the, I guess, the e- low hanging fruits come in. So whenever there's all, all these new trends, it's always trying to identify the leaders, which is why there's a, uh, a trend called the MAG7, because people are trying to identify who are the most likely leaders or most likely companies to succeed in this technological shift. 
One final question, if I may, Billy. Is this going to be an environment where it's winner takes most or winner takes all, do you think? Will the, will the incumbents or the strongest be the only ones that survive you know, 10, 15 years from now, do you think? It's a big question mm -hmm. um, because the thing is AI is big and we might talk about it a bit later, but in terms of AI space, it's not just about one certain uh, area. You know, we are seeing software, we're seeing hardware, we're seeing cloud infrastructure. So it's very hard to identify one player who would take everything. There's obviously going to be big players, but there's also going to be very, very uh, market leaders in different kinds of subsects which we need to take uh, note of as well. Billy, thanks for sitting down with Lovewire. Thank you. If you enjoyed that episode of The Pitch as much as I did, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to follow our YouTube channel because we're adding lots of great content every single week.